travel and that there's a lot, there's things out, not just in the communities, there's things out there that you can go and do if you want to go and do it. If you want to be a dancer, be a dancer. If you want to play football, play football, right? But why do you like dancing? What, what do you, does it make you feel good or what? It'll make you happy. In your body, where do you feel happy? Inside. I've been doing this work for nearly three years now. And you can see some of the kids, like, they wouldn't even talk or get up and do anything. Not even join in a workshop. But now, just from going up there and getting dance artists, musicians, graffiti artists, whatever it is, out there with these kids. They don't even realise their confidence is building up. Like, So you go play their games, you go try to learn their language, you go sit down and listen to their stories because then they turn around and ask us about where we're from and our stories and our, our country. And In a few years time they'll go, oh yeah, I used to be a real shame. Now I'm like open up, I don't care now, sort of. My name is Nebro. I like to dance. You like to dance? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes we'll just have battles, sometimes it's full. Alright, Nathan's up teaching, sometimes I'm up teaching, sometimes we'll play freeze. Anyone moving? It depends on what mood the kids are in. It was a really big process for them to come through being shamed to the outcome of actually getting up on stage. It was like a process of being rewarded for their hard work, basically, and they really appreciated it. When we had the first rehearsal for Generate, it was the first time they knew the kids met all the other kids and the first time they danced in front of other people like that ever before. We created a supportive and safe environment for people then to put, them, put themselves out there and take that risk with other people who they'd only just met half an hour before. You dance on a big stage? Yeah! yeah. And there, there are going to be like 2,000 people watching you. Yeah! yeah! To actually get out there, be accepted, receive the applause of the audience, whether they're family or friends or whether they're strangers, I think builds a lot of self-esteem within each individual. To do something like that is great for a group of youngsters. To feel it, you know, it was it was their festival. But there's something extra special about working with your own indigenous kids, because we know that they're looking up to you that extra little bit hard and going, look, they're black too. I can do that too. So it doesn't matter how fair I am, how dark I am, whatever. They don't care. They know you're Aboriginal. I say, this other person do it, then I can do it too. Loved them. Everyone else loved them. All the other kids. It was awesome. Do you reckon your uh, your friends and your family are like pretty impressed with what you guys can do? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> are you gonna show them some moves? Yeah. yeah. Nobody can take our freedom.